Hi, Roger Brown here. I'm the head of service here at ASI. We're going to talk about one of our dryers. We've got a unique opportunity here. We have the dryer fully set up and we're going to run it on our floor for our customer to see. So here's our dryer. We make many types. This dryer happens to be a air flotation dryer, which uses our patented BW air bars on 15 inch staggered centers. Uh, we have extra features on this dryer you don't normally get, like windows and lights which are all available. The windows are two panes of insulated glass with a broken heat transfer in the gasket so that uh, so you don't get direct conduction from the inside. The doors on this one have locks. That's also a, an extra feature. And uh, when the dryer's on and hot, you won't be able to open them. There's indications on the doors to tell you if they're locked or not. These are actually safety encoded switches. And this dryer uses a safety PLC to monitor that switch. Uh, normally we just use a standard PLC and we use standard tried and true relay logic on the back side as a redundant backup. Uh, there's an operating station here that lets you open and close the dryer. This dryer has retraction. The retraction system is a shafted from the very top motor there off both sides and then goes through screw jacks on each corner. The buttons have to be held down for safety and they uh, open and close the dryer. The dryer lights, of course, are right here at the Toggle Mono. There's also a pull cable here. This pull cable will stop the retraction on its way down. Uh, this one happens to be red because the customer wants this tied in as an e-stop as well. If it only stops the retraction, it would be yellow, the same color as the guards, to tell you that it only operates the retraction. But when it's red, it'll actually e-stop the customer's line as well. Okay. Here we're going to watch the retraction operate. There's a horn for five seconds to tell you that it's coming down. And you have to continue to hold the button to have it operate. This dryer has retraction system has a VFD on it. So you'll notice when it has about one inch to go, and it's going to slow to a crawl. And the reason we do that is uh, there's some disc, there's some gaskets on the back. We drive closed to make sure that they seal tight. Stop it if we have an emergency stop, like I said, it stops. We have to reset the retraction switch. As you can see, it's flashing, and until you uh, indicate that the cable is now safe, right? Now you can reset the touch screen and get it to operate. Again, you have your three second warning, and then it starts. This time we'll let it run until it hits slow, and then it'll creep down, there it is. It continues to beep. Each time you can barely see it's moving, but it is slowly going down. And there's a uh, switch on the back side that uh, monitors it and makes sure it's completely closed. We actually have two switches, a pre-closed switch that determines when it goes slow, and then the fully closed switch that tells you when it's uh, stopped. It'll beep twice when it's done. Right there. There's also a retraction brake up top. This motor engages the brake whenever it's off to ensure it doesn't move even when it's up. Okay. 